lessons, we're going to work on sentences that are just real small or minute uh, things that are, that are real common in everyday, everyday uh, Ponca. And so that's what we're going to do here in a minute. I'm going to get on this slide real quick. I come down so I could go on. Okay, black home On the house, I call Bless you, day, call the mother. You go as you hope. Crazy. Yeah. I have them. When she says "blizzy," you can say "I'll bleed." She said, "I got it," and "I'll bleed" means I have it. I'll bleed. I'm going to 
This is where I live. Can you guys see it? Yeah, I see it. It feels real cool right now. That's a, that's really weird. We've been triple digits early. I don't know about felt like I was gonna black out earlier. It was so hot, and I had to get back in my truck. <clears throat> I'm glad it cooled down. I'm talking about it cooled down, like 20 degrees cooled down. Nice. Yeah, sometimes it's those shifts in barometric pressure that make you more sore, too. Yeah. Mm. I just sat in the wet chair. I didn't even realize it. It rained like crazy yesterday. You guys have those? I believe. Won't get any time. What I say? Won't get it. Me, Zaya. Everyone, something, something. Do y'all got them? Okay, let's go over the first one. I'm sitting outside smoking. I'm on my phone. My laptop's on in my room. Okay, what does that mean? The first one on this page? The very first. First one, no, not on. the first ones I gave you. Okay, break on. I want to. I want to go, but I'm not sure what Uki okay is. Look it up in the dictionary on the Ponca side. Join? No. Abel? There's two ways to say home and ponka. Three, actually. Uti, uki, yale. Tigle Uti Uki Tigle. What tigle. was the other one? Well, if I say Tiagle, it's like saying my home or, or saying I'm home. This place that I showed you. Home. I live here, but it's not my home. My home's condemned. I go out there and cut the grass. My older sons, they go out there and sit out there. When I left, that's where I left from. And my kids always wanted to go home there. And when, they, when they're sad, that's where they go. We got 160 acres there, three and a half acres of my yard. I go out there and cut it right now. It's kind of high. I was going to go cut it, but I don't have time. I'd be exhausted cutting it. 
and then have to teach, so I didn't go. So at eight o'clock, I may go out there. I don't know yet. That's the only place I think of. Since I've been home, I had a, enough money to rebuild it four or five times. I haven't done it. My kids are grown that I had there. I lost two sons there. My people are still six of my horses. My cattle's gone. All my dogs are gone. It's a lot of bad memories. Shaitana, Uki, Black Umbla. But yet, I still want to go home. That's what that first page talked about, some of it. About my memories. Things that haunt me. When we were growing up at that home, there wasn't nothing but Ponca spoken at home. Only English spoken was to us. But my great grandfather and my grandparents, they only talked Ponca to me. I don't know why they didn't teach my sisters. I have a sister that's older than me, but they didn't teach our two sisters older. They grew up out there and they didn't teach them, they taught me. Maybe because I was a home boy. A lot of Ponca men and women that were born in the 1800s used to come sit out there, be there for days. Back then when people came visit in the 80s and 70s and 80s, they stayed for a few days. They just show up, stay a while, sleep on the floor, sleep on pallets. <laughs> pallets made out of blankets. At that time, people but I still remember. Shaitana. I'll give you see that. No, ma. But I still remember. Always. I always still remember that. Even though I'm only going to be 45 next month, so much has changed here that, that I, I can't help but feel sad. I changed. And so sometimes it's hard. It's hard to think that that we're it. We're it, guys. The few that come here, Grandpa Lewis's class, he has up to 15 and 20 people. It's starting to build. First time I've ever seen it that big, and I'm really happy. And I can't even go to them classes because I have to work so much. Even though it's required, but there's so much work. My job depends on what I do. And I have to get it done. I'm, not, I'm a finisher down here. I finish a lot of things people can't finish. And if I start something, I finish it. There's a few projects in my life I haven't finished. A few. And I remember every one of them. There's a 16 foot clubhouse that I never finished for my sons. It's still standing there. A lot of bad memories. Good intentions, but a lot of good intentions, but a lot of bad memories. But I'm healing. Okay, what's the next thing? The first one, Uki Blake Combla. They is home. Uki is home. They yeah. is go. But I go. I want to go home. Yeah. Okay. The next one is Anastan Kamba. I'm gonna stop. stop.
I want to stop. Yeah. Wow. Anastam combat. I want to stop. Anastam means I stop. Anastam means you stop. Anastam means she stop. Oh, Anastam, we stop. Anastam means you all stop. Now Stein, they stopped. Combo, I want, Skunna, you want, gonna lie. She wants, I'm gonna lie, we want. Skunna, you all want, gonna lie, they want. Now, Stan, we can't, but I want you to stop. Now, Stan, we can't, but I want you to stop. You could also say, Donna Stan, we can't, but I want you to stop. But you don't have to say it then because that verb prefix in the beginning of I want you, it makes it to where you don't have to say Donna Stan, but you can. What's the next one? I don't mean to interrupt, but I got to run downstairs for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, the next one is La Shude Kombla Mashi. Shude is smoke, Kombla Mashi, I don't want. What is Blah Shoot there? Uh, I smoke? Yeah. I want to stop smoking. I'm not going to tell you again. Where you going? Yeah. We'll, we'll stay here, but I don't want to get too far ahead of probably checking on her mama. Yeah. But I should a combo I want to stop smoking. Yep. Shut up. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. I sent Emily a text yesterday saying, it might be crazy, but if you still have that notebook, that language notebook you guys took by accident last year, can you bring it with you? Emily would have it at her house. I never brought it to my home. All right. Well, I texted her. She never mentioned it. Yesterday. Do you guys plan to travel tomorrow or Friday? No, we're leaving tomorrow. Did you get that room or are you coming here? We might have to come there. I don't know. She never answered. We called multiple times with messages. She might be booked. Maybe that's why she's not calling back. No, I talked to her two hours ago and she said she still has a room and to call her. 
We'll probably see when we get to, I mean, we got money to rent a room, though, if we got to rent a room, though, but we're not going to just rent, uh, her rooms might not be big enough anyway. We're bringing four kids with us. I'm bringing my 13-year-old, and she's bringing her 15, 13-year-old, and her 10-year-old. They're all going to dance every day. Okay, so if you stay here, we'll figure out a way. Maybe move the futon upstairs so they can all have a place to sleep. We'll figure they're it out. Young. They're young, they'll all sleep on the floor. They ain't got no problem with laying on the floor. We'll figure it out. Yeah. It's going to be hard, though, with just one bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I worry about. No, don't worry about things like that with old Ponka. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes there might have been four families living in one home. Yeah. Today, it's still like that. It would be nice to meet the kids. I'm glad they're, they're going to dance. Yeah, they're going to dance. They're bringing their regalia and their cock, their regalia and their beadwork. <clears throat> Go tell hey, sis, come here. Eagle, on page yeah. 154 of the Omaha verbs, they've got all the conjugations for prey. That they might got, be something. They got, they, they got majority of them. They don't got all of them. They got majority of them. They, well, yeah, more than other verbs anyway. But that yeah. might be a good way to start teaching ourselves. You know, because I've always wanted to know, other than weave the home, praying for you, praying for him, praying for me, my laptop out here. praying for them. Those are good phrases to learn. Yeah. Wakanda. Wada ha. Pray. Wakanda. All of you pray. Do you have this book, Debbie? Yeah. Nope, I only have the Ponka one. She's shooting this out too. It's good because. It helps to learn verb conjugating, and this is a big long list for the words for pray. And there is Omaha. Written by Alice Sansouci and Artis Eschenberg. Okay. Is that my name? Amazon? Yes. Hey, get inside. Your diaper's full. Get out of here. It's just Super. really useful, Super. especially when trying to make our own sentences. Is it just verbs? 500 plus verbs in Omaha. Omaha. Okay, thank you. It's okay, use it as a reference, but let me tell you something, a lot of them verbs in it, we don't say it like that. They got it way different than us. And some people yes. might not say it is, but it, but it's different. If you learn how to talk like that, any Ponca speaker will know that you're talking like them. So use it as a reference. Don't don't try to you make your senses. I'll tell you which ones uh, are similar and ones that are uh, identical. Mm hmm. And but also they got their accent markers on some of their accent markers aren't the same as us. That's because of their dialect is different than ours. Right. But use it as a reference. Anyway, that's a verb I'd like to conjugate someday to pray.
Okay, let's go back over that one that she was at. It said Blasu de Pump Lamaja. Debbie figured that one out. Blasu de Pump Lamaja. Well, man, manji at the end makes it negative, right? Not. Yeah. And shude, I believe, is smoke. But I and it goes back to our, it goes back to our verb prefixes on there. When you put a the on there, it has to do with the what? That's the word I don't know. Go go back to your between your first one through forty and look up your verb prefixes. I don't know if I'll be teaching tomorrow. I, I got to talk to uh, my boss because uh, I don't have my uh, hotspot on my phone or my phone itself. Well, we're driving that last time. I tried that. Remember when I went up there to Lincoln? Yeah. I cut out or I didn't didn't even work at all. So, but I get my drive time, so I may not be teaching tomorrow. But if okay. I get to uh, uh, up that way to where I'm able to teach then I'll be able to teach, but if not, but in the morning, I for sure won't teach because I'll be driving. Blasu de Kuntlamaze. Barbara, what am I saying? Slabe te. Say it again. Slabe te atombe. Slabe te atombe. Snabe te? No. Slabe te atombe. You see. Trees. I'm having trouble with that first word. Slabe. X D slash A. Acute accent marker on the A B E. And then the article T. Atombe. Slabe T. Atombe. I gotta look up that word. That's not in the dictionary. Well, the X. Oh, I thought you said X. George. S. George, go grab my 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 bag, my work bag, that black Stop backpack. Well, I bet it's on my, it's on it's on mom's bed. Flowers. Guessing. No, you're guessing. <laughs> Tree, I said that. Well, get over here. You see the tree. Get over here. Just don't drag it, son. Chair. Forest. Get your dog. Get your dog. Oh. 
Deb, I think blah makes smoke about I, I smoke. Blah shoe day. I smoke. Because I, I see it in other verbs in the middle, like wabate to eat. Wabate, I eat. Yeah, that word means horse. Or tree, but whenever you say chlabete, usually they say forest, but it could also be translated trees. And then all the trees of the Poncano that are right. indigenous to our surroundings, we have names for every one of them. I would like to learn those. Get over here. Is blah um, smell? Did you hear her equal? Take a minute, son. Oh, I'm sorry, sister. What'd you say? Is um blah day? Is it smell smoke? No. no? Because if you had smell <laughs> smoke, you'd have to say shoot day, blah. Shoot day, blah. Okay, go to page twenty six in your dictionary. It's the fourth one from the left. Do it, sit down, sit on top of my desk. Please. You can bring your brother. It's cool enough. Let him sit out here. Action by mouth. The action by mouth. Yeah, and so if you add the word shoe day to it, which word do you know? Bring it to me, that pack. And so remember that the I form of da is blah. So blah shoe day, what does that mean? Thank you. I smoke. Dashu day, he she it smokes. Dashu day, I smoke. Nashu day, you smoke. Is that correct? Yeah. You follow that, Deb? No. <laughs> I know you looked confused. Hey, go. Deb, it goes back to our our uh, our d slash verbs. Remember, okay. if it's a D, it turns into a, it turns into a la, la, na, lai, with a la, I at the end, a, la, I, na, I, la, I at the end. Okay. All right. It's like, now that I see that. So it's I smoke, I don't want. I don't want to smoke. I want to stop smoking. And that, that means I don't want to smoke. I don't want to smoke anymore. If you said I want to stop smoking, you would just say Nashton. I'm going to say shooting on a stone. But I'm in combat. No, you don't have to say the If you want to say, I want to stop smoking in that form, 
like uh, the other one says, I don't want to stop. I mean, it says, I don't want to smoke. The other one says, chew day. And you could also add the shoe day. Either one is smoke. You could probably get away with either one of them. The shoe day or shoe day on our stone. Don't run. I want to stop smoking. Some people use it that way, some don't. So what's the K-A in that sense? Is that want? Yeah, Kombla. Even though it's just K, all I have written down is K-A with the tail thing. Did I forget the rest so of you it? Gotta put the B, you got to put the B, D slash A at the end. Kombla. Okay, how I forgot that, I don't know. That makes sense to me totally then. Oh, I see what I did. I separated words. Okay. It clicked. I had it written down wrong. That's what I did. The next one is Juga Jiho, male ho at the end. What 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 does it say again? Juga Jiho, Juga Jiho. Juga Jiho. Juga Jiho. Juglaji. You could also say Jugle Aji Ho. Jugle Aji Ho. Jugle Aji Ho. Get your dog. Tie her up on that fence line up there. Get her, that woman don't want her playing with her. We should have called the police on your dog, boy. George, come here. Bring that dog over. I'm going to show you something. Come here, boy. George. Come here. So that's an instance where, like, the E and the A get merged. Jugdaji or Jugdaji. Yeah. Either way is correct. or Jugdaji. Page 211, Jugle, with, in the company of, together with. Aji so what does is it not. Mean? So what does it mean? We're not together, they're not together. Oh. You're guessing. They got to be clean. Get over there, both of them. Go. It ain't clean. Well, somebody made a statement to me. 
Oh, your son's with her. And I'll say, you glad you know. He's not with her. That's your answer to them. That word means to, the word means with more than anything. Yeah. That word really means with because with. if you say together, there's a whole nother word that's used together. That means with. Now, in some cases, in a sentence, you could with. say they're together. You know what I mean? But it means W I T H. What are you doing, Randy? Randy Rod? Oh, I want to see him. Where's the camera? Hold on. Yes. He's a cutie. Look at he the is camera. So cute. Look over here. <laughs> He's adorable. Hi. <laughs> Is she coming to power? Hey, down, down. No. No, he's not coming. Be too hot up there and it will Mr. be outside the majority of the day. Um, acting up. Trying to fight dad. <clears throat> You understand that one then, Deb? Jugde Ajiho. Jugde Jugde Ajiho. So the whole thing just means with? Wait, wait one more month and they're going to all start changing colors and you can start collecting them. And then I'll laminate them for you and I'll tell you what they are in English and then put the funk name that put them. Turn him around, son. Jugde with Aji Nak. He's yeah. not with her. No. Jugde third person with. Just turn him around. No, turn this around. Not. So he said it was an answer to a question. He's not with her. Okay. I get her. Take her away from your brother. She likes to buy it. Go walk with her where I can see. You. Go you got a big field over there. Walk, walk around. I'll watch you. Don't get to where I can't see you though. Let's move on. The next Randy one. Randy Rod. Ha. Debbie, you say it. Monze, Inde, Babaku, Shkon, Shkon, Aka. Yeah.
I won't want to play tonight. I don't know. Somebody's here. I gotta go downstairs. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, this one. I thought Wabahu meant to write something. Or a book. But in the dictionary, it says Wabahu to hawk, to pawn, hawk, give something, someone to a pawn shop for loan. Page one seventy seven. Yeah, but you got to remember, you're not paying. You're not paying attention to the diacritics. You're not to the accent markers. Yeah, it's different in the dictionary. Because in the dictionary, you say right here. You say wa basu. Wa wa basu. That does mean to pawn something or to or to give something to somebody. So that does mean that, sister. So remember, now when you say "wabahu," say it. "Wabahu." Wabahu. 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 That's different. It's totally different. Yes. On page two eleven, it has "wabahu" deb, and that means to but, pawn or hork. But wabahu, wabahu means to write or basu, basu. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna look up bahu. Wabahu means to write. Bahu mark to make a line visible impression on the surface of something to write to write as in writing a letter bahu page 959 so wa bahu would that be i write awa bahu sometimes you could say no i mean uh, you would say wa bahu with a p wa bahu And bit the heck out of me. Get it away from me. I'm eating. Monze e they does that mean iron face? Yeah, it does. Wabahu. Right, I write. 
Gonska is when like something is done over and over again, like moving, keeps moving. So, I have no idea what that means as a sentence. Gone, page 150 in motion. So you can say it twice, it means like constantly in motion, fluid, like moving. Go to page 363. Mm -hmm. Oh. I see it's a television. <laughs> Did you see that, Deb? Just now. The word for television is really long. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> Television. <laughs> Is there a word for short? <laughs> it's like it's like the the metal face with moving writing on it, moving pictures on it. Oh my gosh. Television. Ah. I was trying to make like a whole sentence out of it. <laughs> yeah, same. What's the word for syrup? Is it like miski de skonska? Oh, Johnny Snu Snu. Johnny Snu Snu. I like that word. Wood, water. Snu Snu. Connie texted me before class and said she's real tired and said, I sorry she couldn't be here tonight. <coughs> I 
All right, the next one is Monze Waon Wisconsin. Well, oh, is it? No, that's not the song. Well, oh. One. One, girl. We'll make that at the whippy. One. My dog smells my food. One song. So Monze Waon, is that like a, a CD or a record or a radio? Radio. radio. One. One. Skana to want. Skana. You want. Do you want the radio? Do you want a radio? A, we, uh, a radio. Okay, so we, it describes the radio. A radio. Mon, mon, say, what on we? A radio. Do you want a radio? Yeah. You get that, Deb? Yes. Excellent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No, hey, ice. Yeah. <laughs> Metal, ice, what could that be? Refrigerator? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. uji. That's something that holds something? Like a container? Holds oh, ice. Uji. But the word uji is container? Yeah. Manze, manze nu ge uji. Did you find that in the dictionary? It's not in there. Okay. We achi means the one. We, I thought that's wrapping around him. We but that's what it means, refrigerator. Some punkers they just say nu ge uji, and some will say manze nu ge uji. Mm. I told him, yeah. What'd you say, Deb? Is Biakchi single, like one? Yeah, like the only one, I thought. A single refrigerator. Ani, you have question mark. You have, do you have a single refrigerator? Dog ate his food off his deal a while ago. George, I just told you that thing's wrapped around his legs. Get it away from him. Cut him if it's frayed. Yeah. Get her out of there.
I like it when we do sentences that are all kind of related and you start to see the pattern. Mm-hmm. Manger, ide, television, manger, wa on, radio, manger, nuke, uji, refrigerator. This is what I said to you. I'm not friends with you, so I couldn't send it to you. Look at him. All his keen faces. You ain't looking at him. That's the jeep face right there. Look at that face. Wavy. <laughs> Page 198, with the brain, the part that governs the spirit, thoughts, intentions. That's good, you could choke on that. You'll swallow it. What's a metal brain, Debbie? (laughs) (laughs) Computer? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Bingo. Uh, the Nav the Navajos use that same word but in their own language. The Navajos use what? Metal brain for computer. <clears throat> no, but is that hand? Don't get Two. sister. It's two. Or the number two? Yeah. Oh, Nambe is hand. Adin, I have. I have two metal brains. (laughs) 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 I have two computers. Oh, that's brilliant. Manger with the number adding. I have two computers. Translate that. Manger with the number adding. Translate it. Manger metal with the brain number two adding. I have. No, it's not I have. It's not I have? I have is obli. That's just all me. Oh. You have. No. He has? I'm guessing. He has two computers, or she has two computers. Okay. I think on occasion we can review Verbs like have, want, be, things we use every day, conjugating them. Yes. Would be really helpful. <laughs> Connie, I mean, uh, Barbara, make a English list of it and I'll make it tonight. Send it to me on my me- inbox, me. Okay. Great. What's that scraping sound? My bowl. Your phone? Well, I'm 
Wobble up, they think. I'm eating. Wob. Uh. So the last one, we're on the last one. Monse Wegani Amatanga. Monse Wegani Amatanga. Say it again. Monse Wegani Amatanga. Monse Wegani Amatanga. I found my brand new four hundred dollar glass I've been looking for a month and I found them in my bag. I my kids, where'd you throw them at? Where'd you put <laughs> Your eyeglasses? Look. No my God. Look. Yeah. <laughs> I got about ten pair. I got six I got no, I got eight pair. I got six new pair and two old pair. Who that? Ebe ma'a. Ebe ma'a. Who's Look coming? Look at that stuff he got in his hair. No, ebe means who are they? Who are they? Ebe ma'a. <laughs> get him. You can't get him if you want to be messed. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Look at these crazy pictures I, I took of him. What's up? You got a scroll? We can't see you. Okay. Oh, I was talking to I found the word Ghani fan. You guys can see that. We can't see you. He makes some crazy things. Oh, no, no, I sent those pictures to you guys' messenger. You guys can see it when you get off here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, Gani. He did that. He went through it all over. Are you at the high school now? Huh? What's her name again? Kelly? Kellen, what grade are you in now? Say her name, I can't say it. Kellen? Like a Kellen? What grade is she in now? 10th? Yes, I thought ten. You guys are growing up just over two years, almost three years living here. All these kids around here getting big. <sighs> Take him in. I'm ready to leave. I'm going to cut out west. You guys can come if you want to. Little dirt clod. All right. I found Ghani for fan, but I don't know why way Ghani.
ama means plural. Tanga, big. No, ama means something that's singular or plural or moving or not moving. Something that's right. animate or inanimate. <laughs> <laughs> fan like like the rotating fan yeah like a metal fan yeah ah. <laughs> so, so uh, where my truck keys so i'm going to cut out where yeah what'd you say deb so so Mose way gone e ama tonga. What does it mean? Mose way gone e ama tonga. Some punkers might even say tonga. They might say. Go ahead. They might say mose way gone e ama tonga. Is it large? Excuse me. Big, large Tonga. Do you understand how it's broken down, Deb? Debbie? Um, saying, I all so. I was saying is the big fan. Yep. The big fan. Bar the is the... Um, thank you for this day and this opportunity to learn. I like... I liked the pace today, and I'm really grateful that we're able to sponge some of this up, learn new words, learn, you know, especially in these phrases, how the Ponca see things, how they made names for new things. I thank you for all of that. I thank you for this lesson today. I pray to ease everyone's pain, to improve our health help those who are sick and tired and especially praying for everyone's good and safe travels for the upcoming Honka celebration here in Niobrara. Thank you for this day. We feel humble, Kanta. Sure. All right, sisters, I'll see you guys later. I'll see you guys in Nebraska. Good. Keep me posted. Bye, Devin. Hey, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. The, on that last sentence, AMA, was that the? Um, after Wegani, which is the subject, Monse Wegani, the metal fan, Ama, you know, we usually say Aka, Ama, Te, K. Ama is the, okay. he said, singular, plural, moving or not moving, animate or inanimate. So okay. it, it means the, usually That's it's, what I, was, I didn't get that in one my written experience, down. So. Yeah, in my experience, it's plural, like many horses or many buffalo, and then it's te ama or shange ama. But he said it can also be singular, so, but it's the word for the. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. I'll see you Sunday. I can't wait. No class tomorrow. No, because he'll. Today's Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday. He'll be driving. Okay. He'll be driving. Okay. See you then. Bye bye. Bye.